She um, really wanted to have a baby, so she poked holes in her boyfriend's condoms. <laughs> like you do. And uh, I was like, that's a great idea. So I went out and I bought about 50 boxes of condoms. I unwrapped them, I poked holes, I rewrapped them, and I gave them to all my annoying friends. <laughs> so if you want some, just come see me in my car outside. I got them all in my backseat. But, uh, you know... Babies, and I'm like, I'm married. I can't have a baby. Yeah. But my eggs are dead because I'm in my 30s. They're dead. Like I went to the doctor, and they're like, Yep, not looking good. No one, I can't donate my eggs. Nobody wants them. I go to the vitamin shop to get prenatal vitamins. They're like, Here, over 35. Take this. It's like huge horse pills. I'm like, What's wrong with me, right? But it's really sad. And I, you know, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like an episode of Star Wars down there, right? <laughs> my eight, my ovaries are the Alderaan system. <laughs> the Death Star is being played by menopause. They're coming in with a vengeance with that laser beam, tractor beam lasers, and they're blowing shit up. The Alderaan system's gone, right? Remember when Princess Leia, all of her shit died? Yeah. I'll be lucky if I birth an Ewok. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's really not much left for me. And that's kind of like how it is, you know, when you get married. I don't know about you, but people used to, when they get married back in the day, maybe like, you know, in the 1800s, they were maybe married for five years, and people lived to be 20. And now people live to be like 100, so you're like married for 70 years, right? What's that about? And I kind of think like a relationship is like Star Wars too, right? It starts out, you're like, awesome. I'm Princess Leia. Here comes Han Solo. Everything's hot. And the next thing you know, you roll over and there's Luke Skywalker and it's your brother. <laughs> Awesome. You know, it's, uh, it's my life. That's my life. It's okay though. You know, um, but I have to say, you know, things are things are good. I, you know, yeah, you know, I'm married. I don't have an urge to do any personal grooming. I mean, ask my husband. He's here. It's okay. You know, but I, uh, you know, I just don't. Like he's Catholic. He's not gonna divorce me. You know what I mean? But, you know, he's not going anywhere. But uh, I did decide that, you know, I was going to get some laser hair removal. And so I was like, go to Groupon. I'm like, no, I'm not going to go to Groupon. I went to the light post out by my house where they have all those, like, coupon things. And there's, like, a little numbers and you tear off and get, like, free guitar lessons. So I pulled off a little number and I went down to the City of Industry and I got myself some fucking laser hair removal. Okay? City of Industry, people. It's where you go. Okay? They also have an office in West Covina, which means it must be really good Emin Gardena. Okay. So I went down there and I walked in and the guy was like, Hello, welcome to the Laser Hair Removal Institute. Welcome. 
Looked like he had about 55 plastic surgery procedures. I mean, he looked like a burn victim who had gotten skin grafts from another burn victim. <laughs> so I went in, of course, and I let them zap the shit out of my armpits. You could smell skin burning. And uh, the hair grew back in a month in the form of crop circles. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm proud of it. I'm going back next month to get the rest done. But, uh, you know, I'm also, I don't know, I think I'm just this point in my life where I'm actually starting to feel really resentful and jealous of my cats. <laughs> All they do is they eat, sleep, poop, they lick their own lady parts. I mean, it's awesome. I took them to the vet, they do have some problems. My male cat pulls the hair out of his ass, but I think he just might be into doing his own waxing. It's like he's his own waxer, you know what I mean? And the female, she's fat, she vomits. I mean, she's bulimic, it's LA, right? I mean, that's fine. That's the one thing, though, I'm really excited about about pregnancy, is the morning sickness. Because there's no uh, binging, only purging. Like, one half bulimic, it saves a lot of work for me. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring up our